the number of internet users in this region is set to grow to more than 400 million in the next two years. And this is why many companies are moving their advertising online. And this growth in demand for digital media means that there are more opportunities for the region's web savvy youth. Now, homemade media can earn revenue from advertising, but is it enough to earn a living? We met two web entrepreneurs, one in Bahrain and one here in Abu Dhabi, to find out. My name is Ala Ibrahim. I'm 23 years old. I just graduated from Bahrain Polytechnic with a bachelor's degree in business management. Uh, I started my YouTube channel in 2011, like in, on September. I started that channel with my friend. In that channel, we started to make videos about video games. From the first YouTube channel, which is called Devil Station, we have around 340,000 subscribers, and it's number one in Bahrain. Also, the second channel has around uh, 85 or 89,000 subscribers, and this is maybe the second in Bahrain also. Uh, most of the viewers are from the Middle East, and the, the age range between uh, maybe, let's say, 12 to 30. Uh, we make revenue from the YouTube channels itself, out of the videos you uploaded and the advertisements that shows on the videos. I get around 180,000 views every day. Each thousand of views you get, they pay you a certain percentage. And from this certain percentage, I'm making a living out of it. And it's like my full-time job in here. And two of them are the gamers day. Most of my audience are from Saudi Arabia. So one day I decided to go on an event called Gamers Day. When I went there, I was really shocked because I saw a lot of numbers of my audience there let's say around thousand people gathered around me and it was really really amazing i really didn't expect that i would see those people here waiting for me at the beginning we were two people and now we are five and in the future hopefully we're gonna be more there are many companies around the world that are willing to support youtubers and do many advertisement with them uh, in order to help them reach whatever they want My name is Tam al Falasi. I'm 22 years old. I'm from United Arab Emirates. So when I started the program, it started all in my bedroom. We could say it's an edutainment show. It has topic, uh, a certain topic for like young adults and teenagers. The same show has more than 40,000 uh, listeners. It was 20,000 in the first season, but when I approached to 2454, the creative lab, actually it doubled, it doubled because of like the exposure and the marketing and those stuff. Uh, the people who listen to the same show, like if we say age group, it's from uh, 14 to 23, 25, and uh, they're, uh, they're not just Emiratis. They're from Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Kuwait. So currently we're working on a business plan. The first thing is uh, having the show to be live, so we're working on a pilot. So maybe after that when we have a live show we could use more advertisements and more commercials. We may also uh, now use the product placements on the podcast. Uh, especially we want to concentrate uh, with uh, small businesses in the UAE. It's the most exciting thing in the world to be a part of this because it's, it's a revolution. We don't have to underestimate the new media because it's not on TV or radio or it's like official. Be the, um, the opposite is we have to work hard so we could achieve our goals through new media. Well, we're going to take a short break now and when we come back we find out why these students from Gulf Universities are electric car racing in Abu Dhabi.